This video is sponsored by PoTownStore.com, the best place for you to get TCGO code cards. They already have Darkness of Blaze up on stock, so definitely check out the website and use the coupon code ZAPDOSTCG for 5% of your next order. They have a huge variety of code cards, so you'll definitely find something you like. Also, this video is sponsored by CardMarket.com. This is a platform I personally use every day. If you're from Europe, you're obligated to check out this website. You can purchase cards on here as well as sell your own cards to people all across Europe. And uh, they have huge uh, bargain sales right here as well as best sellers. And you can even uh, purchase physical cards uh, for instance, booster boxes of the new set. So definitely check it out. Uh, my Both of my sponsors, BoatDownStore.com as well as CardMarket.com. <laughs> All right, this is part two of the insane booster box series darkness ablaze uh, Now one of my friends is going to open up his part of his uh, yeah, booster box This is gonna be the left side first then the right side and I found it to be very crazy The left side had like five ultra rares in my box and then uh, three ultra rares in the right side So it's not equally divided like I remembered uh, back in the days of Sun and Moon that they were mapped and people were freaking out Now it's random. Let's get the show on the road and um you get an energy as well in every pack and a, a code card. So we'll see what we get. We have uh, a Clink, Marini, a Torchic. Most of these cards we've already seen, so we're gonna go through them a little bit quicker than uh, we would. Uh, reverse Combuskin and the rare. Boom! Wow, Fiker Wolf <laughs> full Oh, Buster. Nice! That looks very fantastic. Uh, we're definitely gonna get a sleeve for that one. A yellow sleeve for the Fiker Wolf right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fiker Wolf. Woo! <laughs> Wow, that oh yeah, you were gonna take your black sleeves. Okay, that's, okay. that's fine. I said it. Wow, this artwork gotta appreciate how cool this. Uh, no, Butterfree, go away. <laughs> Butterfree is not the card. Uh, this is a very great first pull. This is the first pull of this new booster box, uh, and we'll see if that luck continues. Yeah, it's a very fine. Just uh, open them up here in the middle ish if you can. Yeah. It's easy. It's been a while. It's been a while, yeah. Uh, these are actually uh, my closest friends that uh, were in the TCG and then they actually uh, decided to drop off when, I think, when uh, did you leave the uh, TCG season? Um, Last season. Last season? Yeah, no, it was, we I skipped think, one season. You we skipped, skipped oh, one yeah, season. Yeah, you skipped one season. Okay, cool. Oh yeah, you guys were uh, familiar with the Tapu Lele. Okay, yeah. Now it's Crobat V. <laughs> So we're back. <laughs> and the Denny. Yeah, and the Denny. Yeah, the Denny and Crobat V. I wonder how many decks will actually opt to go for Crobat over the Denny. Personally, I think the Denny is still better, but Crobat V is very good in Eternus because he cannot play other types besides Darkness type. So it's uh, understandable why Crobat is uh, going to be the chase card. Okay, we have one of those uh, useless Sinnoh Pokemon, Hippopotas. Are there any one of these uh, fellas that are a fan of that card? Cape of Toughness provides you with 50 extra HP. For Scovid Reverse. <laughs> this is just, oh the Sigilai. Very good, very good. This mm -hmm. uh, I think one of our friends uh, that comes in uh, about half an hour will also be very uh, glad we pulled this. This is an annoying stall card, and uh, it also attacks. <laughs> but <laughs> annoying stall cards. <laughs> like uh, there's going to be a Vikavol player, a Decidueye player, a Turtus player. I'm probably going to be playing Blaby Blasphalon because uh, yeah, it's the only deck I know. All the rest do doesn't work with me. <laughs> Maybe some Mad Party. I want to test that out. I, I love Mad Party. Okay, Cup 2, Wimpod, and the Bunnelby. Talking about Mad Party, it's here. Pulling rabbits out of my head. Yeah, it reminds me of Wonder, uh, Alice in Wonderland. We have the rabbit. We have the... Uh, what else was in uh, the Alice in Wonderland? But still, it's a bunny out of the rabbit. Okay, got to tell. Well, if you if you consider it, we have Bunnelby. We have the Danny. That is some sort of a mouse. Rat? So maybe? Yeah, it is true. They already made memes about Alice in Wonderland and the Mad Party deck. Really? Yeah. I uh, think they always want to have that concept. We It started in, um, I think it was some sort of a Gengar set, Phantom stuff, that they actually released Night March. And then after that, they had Lost March. Now they have Mad Party. It's a continuous team in the TCG. The, yeah, Sentra, the only bad thing about this uh, kind of a team is that they didn't update the damage output. It's 20 times. That was the same thing with uh, the Night March back 10 years ago. Mareep! Reverse. Mareep and Wulu. Who is your favorite? Post it in the comment section. Wulu! Wulu! <laughs> Wulu. <laughs> yeah, we had a great experience in uh, uh, certain shield video games with Wulu. Uh, Wulu grinding. Wulu grinding in uh, the first round of the game. 
The bad thing about Sword and Shield is that it was way too easy. They actually need to put a difficulty uh, in the video games. Otherwise, the older fans will say like, oh, another easy children's game. Maybe it is. Uh, we have uh, Skarmory, Shinodic, Rose. Very good for every VMAX. They now have energy acceleration for every VMAX and they're Shinodic and Kling Clang. The Kling Clang from Black and White. Uh, everybody reminded uh, yeah, that Kling Clang looks like a Magneton line and that the Rock and Roll line looked a little bit like the Machamp line. We have Sock and Tro reminding us of Hitmonchan. It was kind of like a revamp of the uh, older generations and that's why Black and White is probably not the favorite video game of most of the uh, community. For me, it's probably gonna be the, uh, the, the Johto region. Even though Zapdos is my favorite, it's still uh, the Johto region that uh, yeah gets my uh, heart pumping every time. It's very nice, uh, that video game. Muck, Reverse, and Flygon. That Flygon. We actually needed a, a Flygon Mega Evolution, right? Who's with me? Yeah. We, we got Salamence and Flygon got put to the wayside, unfortunately. Although Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire were very great video games, X and Y as well, introducing Mega Evolutions. The Mega Evolution was not as cool as it, uh, yeah, in TCG as it was in the video games. Basimian, yeah, mm -hmm. he's back. Uh, he also was in Sun and Moon base, and that Basimian was very good. I think it was team play that attack was. And the pre-release. And the pre-release, you could actually have uh, more than four copies of Basimian, <laughs> which was insane. There was uh, one fellow that went to the one pre-release, he got a couple of Passimian, he went to the other pre-release and then he out of nowhere got seven Passimian. He said, oh yeah, I'm gonna use all of them in my deck. And everybody's like, oh, cheating. And then the judge said, it's okay, it's a pre-release. <laughs> but the weird thing that I don't understand about the pre-release, I had my own custom sleeves and they said like, oh no, no, this, you cannot use them. While I see people using no sleeves, like, what? It's, it was insane. Judges back in the day, right? Bunnelby, Vanillite, more weak Pokemon that nobody's ever gonna use, unfortunately. Spike Mud is good. If you're a Spirit Tomb fan, you're gonna use it. There's a Bird Keeper, and BAM! Yay, Puncher Chin. Yeah, look at it. <laughs> wow, how exciting is that? You can draw two cards with its attack. Whoa. Or you Not can... familiar with the new Pokemon. Yeah, the new Pokemon are weird. I think uh, they actually need to uh, improve the uh, design of certain Pokemon. I do love it with Sun and Moon. We had so epic Pokemon like the Sigiwai, Sword and Shield. I don't know. What is your favorite Sword and Shield Pokemon? Post it in the comment section below. I think for me, hmm, a dog with a sword in his head, in his mouth, eh, it's okay, but not the most unique thing I've seen. Heat, fire, energy, adding the HP up for any fire type. Delcaddy reverse, and bam, it's an Agron holographic. I don't You're know. Shit. Oh no! <laughs> You're pulling shit. Oh no! Okay, let's see here. I'm gonna put that holographic over here so we can see. So you have something to show. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you at least have your pincher, Chan. <laughs> Amazing! Okay. All the rest is indeed not too good. I'm gonna take your bun. It was a green code card! <laughs> Don't you love the fact you're pulling green code cards? Ah, uh, no. <laughs> it's Teddy Ursa, trapping. But your luck can change out of nowhere. I think in my first six packs, I didn't got anything. And then I got Scissor, and then I got Scissor, <laughs> and then I said, like, why? And then I said, oh, okay. Crobat is gonna pop up soon, and it happened. You never know. You never know. It's always RNG. Always. Always. Oh, it's a white code card. Who? <laughs> what do you know? Let's see. Yeah, it's a... Uh, Texture? Rare. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I felt it. Come on. It's gonna be a full art. Eternatus. Not sure. No, that cannot be the case because it's not in the set. Only regular Eternatus V is in the set. And the VMAX. Not full arts. They come in a collection box. Ursa Ring and the rare. Can you guess it? You're wrong. <laughs> 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 it's Rhyperior V. Rhyperior V is like the worst, uh, no, it's not the worst, you still have Butterfree. <laughs> yeah, but this guy, uh, it can do something at least. You can welder onto it and attach a fighting energy and then you can actually discard an energy from your opponent's action. So, with Crushing Hammers and, yeah, maybe with Crushing Hammers, who knows? Everything works with Crushing Hammers. The energy denial, unless you're up against an energy uh, acceleration deck, then you're saying like, oof, what did I do? It's unfortunate that it needs four energies. If it was three, it couldn't be uh, made use of the Colossal. The one from Rebel Clash, I think. Yeah. Fighting type, oh yeah, Reverse Rowlet and Excavalier. I have never seen Excavalier work in the TCG. Rest in peace. <laughs> and the weird thing is that Excavalier should have been in Sword and Shield, it was so obvious. It was a, like a knight, it has a sword and all that, pierced. Okay, 
Let's go. Will we see some epic V Pokemon in this uh, part of the booster box? This is part two. There's still no, three no, more no. parts going. Oh, yeah, yeah. I know what you mean. Yeah, <laughs> that, there's uh, five booster boxes. We would have opened up more, you said but uh, there's one of our friends that couldn't make it today. Yeah, he had something else to do. Yeah, I'm talking to you, Arne. I know you're watching this. <laughs> Hopefully, you don't pull any Crobat, so we have more luck. Oh, boy, that's good. That is good. Sent to Scorch V Max. And uh, yeah, uh, Jordi has a fun fact. Uh, Arne is also going to be playing the uh, Eternus deck. So, you really? guys are going to have to fight for all the Eternus pieces. Or you can just say, I'm going to uh, my local shop, buy four of these boxes. And you say, I'm done. It's 80 euros and you got everything. That could be happening. I used to get lots of facts in that. Hmm. That's a good deal. I think it comes out on the 11th of September. Could be entirely wrong, but it's somewhere around that uh, date. And Sense Scorch V Max is nice. I think I will trade that. I love playing with fire types. I used to too. Yeah, in the days of Volcanion Volcani EX. EX, baby Volcanion. Yeah, it still sees lots of play and expanded, but in expanded you have so much fire support. You have Welder, you have now Quick Ball and Nest Ball. You can get, oh, another Decidueye. Decidueye reverse, yeah. What is this? What is this? What monkey. Is this? this is monkey business. Ooh, Dracovish. If you're afraid of the Decidueye deck and you are running Jirachi in your list, you might consider putting a 1-1 line of Dracovish in your list. I know it needs water energy. Maybe you can play something like an Aurora energy just to make up for that. And out of nowhere, you could be stopping the CGI and its track to just evolve. Then they're stuck with little Rowlets that don't do any damage. Which is awesome. It still needs to be in the active slot, but it is an option. I, I love that there are always stack cards for certain decks, so it is a little bit balanced. You never know what you come across in a tournament. People could be playing Tapu Fini against you. You never know. Okay, Carnivine, Heatran, and a Bear Tick. Nice. Yes, it's a bear tick. It's just uh, yeah, an ice bear. Easy. <laughs> it slaps 40 damage. That's what you want. Of course. Ooh. Okay. Water energy. Yeah. If people are complaining that they still don't have energies, you get one in a trainer toolkit. You get actually like 60 or 80 of them. You get uh, an energy in every pack, even special energy. So energies everywhere. Duck trio, familiar bell. Reverse, cool. And the rare is useless. 70 damage. 70 damage in the days of 340 HP. <laughs> you can actually... How much do you need to use that attack? Four times, five times, yeah, six you can, times, you, you, ten times. <laughs> you can six shot a Pokemon. Nice. For twin energy. Don't ever do it. Aaron, Rowlet, Jigglypuff. Jigglypuff! Oh yeah, Darkrai Reverse. Oh, Darkrai. Dark Ride. That was also a good card. Very good. Darkrai EX. GX was also good. And the GX, yeah. A little less, but it, it worked. It also has something to do, like you one shot if it has special conditions or something, right? Or what was that? Yeah, if you were poisoned or burned or, or whatever. You, you could, could one uh, shot. Get a free KO. Wow, imagine you can do that now. Getting rid of VMAXs instantly, like. Zap, they're gone. And after you went to the discard, he always came back. He always came back. And now Giratina does that. That gets rotated. Who else is gonna come back from the discard pile? We need another one. You only saw something. You saw something? Oh boy. It, was it a black card? I don't know. Come on, VMAXs. We also have Crobat. It has to be a black card. Yeah, come on. Show some Eternus or Charizard VMAX. Or a core. It's, <laughs> a, <laughs> it's a black bird. It's a black bird. Wow. Flying taxi. Well. I saw nothing. He saw nothing. Oh, you got. Yeah, at least have five holographics. Nice. Yes. Yeah, the Corvic Knight is a card that I think might see a little bit of play because it can pick up any Pokemon instantly. If I would think like you have a, a monstrous Pokemon uh, that you put Big Charm on, imagine in turn this VMAX for 370 HP. Well, you can pick it up instantly with Corvic Knight. It's a stage two, but you heal all that damage. Imagine. Pull too many Rowlets. Rowlets. Yeah. What is your favorite starter Pokemon? Put it in the comment section. My favorite starter? Hmm. Good question, actually. Ooh, this is the Decidueye box for sure. This is your third <laughs> Decidueye. I think there's one in the reverse slots. Really? Over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, you got three Decidueye. I think you can trade with uh, Floku if he comes here. If you guys are wondering why we are calling Florian uh, Floku, he's a, uh, a big fan of Dragon Ball and he likes 
Goku, I guess. He also made like a, a weird picture on Facebook performing a Kamehameha, <laughs> which yeah got him the name Floku. Three decision-wise. They call me Floku. <laughs> yeah. Centred Lervesta. Morlul. The funny fact in Dutch, if you uh, put that in Google Translate, that last part of the word, you don't want to do that. Okay, Mimikyu, this is a tech card. If you don't like the people using Mellow Alana to heal 120 damage, put one Mimikyu in your deck, you're good. They, cannot lo they can no longer heal. No Hyper Potion on the bench, no Mellow Alana shenanigans, no yeah, regular potion. Who plays regular potion? That's also a question. Oh boy. It started raining, so that means it tur turned is, is coming. I know. This looks like a turn to this. <laughs> Larvatar. Phoebus. Yeah, Phoebus only having 30 HP and the meta right now is just screaming to be knocked out by Galarian Zigzagoon. And he can heal. He can... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a Phoebus. Oh no, I got 20 damage. We're gonna use the attack heal to just get knocked out the upcoming turn. Fantastic. Imagine if it was another Decidueye. Serena. Serena. Hmm. I think that is Gillian's favorite Pokemon. Really? Yeah. Weird, right? Who? Serena. Serena. Weird, right? Really? Eh? Yeah. Apparently. What the hell? Pokemon <laughs> works in mysterious ways. Yeah, your favorite is probably Rayquaza, Mewtwo, and Darkrai? Yeah, about right. Yeah. You're a, a legendary dude. They're awesome. Yeah. Right, you. He's coming. Nicket. Shell Shell another Nicket. They're fan of that the evolution line. Oh, here. here we go. Yeah, now Tyranitar has a holographic. <laughs> imagine. <laughs> oh, I knew it. <laughs> what the hell is this? What is yeah, this? Let's see. Let's imagine see. if you were playing a pre release. You say, like, I'm playing Tyranitar. This is nice. <laughs> yeah, this is nice. Lots of Jodo Pokemon. Oh, another Scent Scorch. You're uh, actually Ooh. in the works of making the the CGI as well as Sentence Scorch. That's very good. They definitely have a lot of trade material. Like these three ultra rares are actually worth a lot. That's good. Not bad. But you're not the one I want. That's why it's a trading card game. Uh -huh. Hey! <laughs> yeah, I want that one. Yeah, if I pull a turn, I would gladly uh, trade with you for a Sentence Scorch V Max. Well, you have a crowbat. <laughs> I still, I, I'm, I'm gonna keep one crowbat if I get a second one. I'm trading it right away. Like I'm still a bigger fan of like using the Dene, so one crowbat, one the Dene is nice. Simeon, the Simeon's back. Bunnelby, Vanillite, Struggle Gloves, Torchic, and Heatran. That's a holographic. Yeah, you can barely, you can hardly see it, but it is here. It shines. If you put it in the right angle, you can see some holographic. If you put it in a sleeve, it's gone. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? But I, I actually like the holographic pattern of the old school Wizards of the Coast uh, cards better, like base set. Base set all the way up to like uh, the gym challenge and all that. Maybe the new series as well. Way better pattern of holographic. Bumblebee. Yeah, you already have your Mad Party squad as well. Turbo Patch, Dartrix. And bam, Hydreigon. Nice. Uh, if you remember Rain Dance Blastoise, the uh, Hydreigon does the exact same thing for Darkness Energy. So if only we would have gotten that for Worlds, then Darkrai and Umbreon Tag Team Jax could have shined. But now, no, they didn't do it. Now we're throwing cards <laughs> on the ground. <laughs> throwing of, cards on the ground. Out of frustration. Come on. That's an energy. It's an energy. Hooray. Reap. Schnubble. Lots of Jodo Pokemon. I wonder why they do that. Is that a hint that they're getting uh, Let's Go Jodo out? Who knows? Reverse Meltan and Hippowdon. Yeah, now we're getting sound effects by the rain. Fantastic. It's a miserable raining day and you don't pull your Eternatus. Rip. Sniff, sniff. Okay. There are... This is the right side right now, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. Been for a while. It's Whoa. a wasp. It's a wasp on the video. Put it away. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Lots of people are actually afraid of wasps. I don't know if you guys are... Oh, Galarian Mr. Rhyme! What the hell is that? Never seen it before. Never seen it before? No, it... I never played Sword and Shield, so... Oh, yeah. I, I, let, let, let me explain how this works. Well, uh, one day, Mr. Mime said, I've had it! I want to evolve. And then it happened. So, it's the evolution of war. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but it only works... On the Alolan version. Uh, or... The Galarian version, yeah. Uh, the Galarian. And it's an... Is it an ice type? I think yeah. so. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I already pulled some. 
Hmm. Oh, it's a water type. Water. Okay. Get that ultra rare up in this place. Tauros, Diglets, random stuff. Rose Tower, more random stuff. Dracozolt and... Oh yeah. Gramble. Gramble. Still have a few packs. Uh, I think that's about eight packs, so let's get it on. Eight more packs in this part. Only four ultra rares, but uh, the holographics are very good. Uh, you got three Decidueye. I don't know how much it, uh, Decidueye goes for, but you at least can trade, which is awesome. And also a 1-1 one -one line of Sensi Scorch and a Vikavolt. Let's get it on. Starly, Zuelias, Familiar Bell, Rookity and Shazam! It's Salamence. We haven't seen that one before. This is the ultimate spreader if you are a fan of the... Uh, Flying Flip Tapu Koko. This is actually 30 damage on everything. So with a simple welder and an attach of the turn, you stop 30 damage on everything, which is actually adding up a lot. Combining that with stuff like uh, Galarian Zigzagoon and uh, other spread mechanics, this could actually be working out. I also noticed that Orbital V Max is coming, which also snipes, uh, actually puts one damage counter on everything. So spread is still not dead. Even though Mew of Unbroken Bonds is- Here he is. Here he is. Yeah, this one evolves into the Galarian Mr. Rhyme. Rookity, wishy washy, Shinodic, Ursaring, Toxel, and BAM! Scissor V Full Art. Okay, that's the sixth Ultra Rare. Woohoo! Ultra Rares! Good. Yeah, I'm probably gonna have to trade it because I will be making Scissor. I will make it work one day. <laughs> one day. Alright. With hammers? Sciz scissor with hammers. Or. Scissor with some Lucario Melt Metal Action Crobat! Nice. That is very nice! I don't, you, you're not getting my no, Crobat. Those were three Ultra Rares in a row, or not? Scissor, Salamence, and yeah! They're definitely not mapped. Wow, that Crobat. I'm gonna put in that in sleeve instantly. Well, that's a $35 card for now. You have dirt on your sleeves. Yeah, I know, they're old sleeves. <laughs> that's why you can have them. Oh! <laughs> Oh boy, Crobat, Sense Score. This is actually not a bad box. Would not mind getting that as well. Because my uh, Ultra Rares are like Mew, Scissor V Max, Scissor V Max. Another white card. Ooh. Four Ultra Rares in a row. Nah, are we gonna do it? This will be a holographic. The CGI. <laughs> How about it? Starly. Weak Pokemon. Big Parasol. Pierce. Reverse Passimian. And boom! Milotic. Milotic. Is that also one of your favorites? Yeah, kinda. Mm -hmm. Yeah, kind of, kind of. maybe. Not sure. And a top five, maybe. And a top five, yeah. Milotic is a very great Pokemon. In Emerald, you had to go through a whole hassle to get even a Phoebus. <laughs> so if you had friends with a link cable and you could breed your Phoebuses, uh, they actually were uh, very thankful for that. Because otherwise you had to use the old rod and fish on every single spot on routes, whatever. You know the route next to the uh, weather station in Ruby, Sapphire and Emerald. What is this? Double Duck Trios, they come in pairs. I feel you guys know it. I think it's episode 52. Imagine if I'm right, just guessing that. They're gonna be wrong. When the anime was good, and now the anime is less good, or am I wrong? Maybe we just outgrew uh, the uh, anime entirely. Maybe only watching the movies occasionally. Jigglypuff, Dunsparce, Clink. More of the same stuff. Flaffy, Simisiren, whoa. Did you get the entire evolution line? Or did you, uh, you still needed one Marie, right? Ah. Oh. Yeah. With Tyranitar, it was ma way more epic. <laughs> well, that Crobat definitely made the box. I remember Shaman EX. It has the same ability. So Dark Acid that actually draw cards that they have six in the hand. That Shaman from, uh, which set was it again? Roaring Skies. That yeah, uh, nice. was very, very expensive. They only released a Shaman EX as promo after it rotated, which was dirty. Now they uh, are doing it way better. Providing us with the trainer toolkit. Yo, Del Caddy. The cat's out of the bag. This is the last pack. Final pack. Final pack. Fight. Let's go. That's her green card. Oh, oh the suspense is already gone. You never know, the Sidgewai. <laughs> reverse. Turbo patch reverse. Or. More Vesta reverse. Or Hoopa reverse. Yeah, Dino, Kabu. Turbo patch. Yeah, that's good. Dark tricks. Skitty to go along with that Delcati and what well, we haven't pulled this. <laughs> what is it? It stares into your soul. It's Diggersby. 
Okay, this was powerful in the video games with X and Y, I think, with huge power. But in the video game and TCG, it's useless. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed part two of this insane booster box series. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to multi like button, subscribe for more content as more Darkness of Blaze content gets posted onto the channel uh, almost every single day. So, hopefully, you guys have a fantastic rest of your day, and I will see you guys in the next one very shortly. Peace out.